Hello, once again, audience, and welcome back to Dominations with Christopher. This is part three in my series of How to War. Uh, if you haven't checked out the first two and you're new to the game, I would strongly suggest that you at least skim through them. They're only about five minutes each. I'm trying to keep these as short as possible. So by now, you should have your Alliance Gate repaired. You should be a member of an Alliance. You should have opted yourself in for war. The war bases have been filled. Uh, the next thing I wanted to go over was your war base. Um, I wanted to cover a few of the primary points regarding your war base. What is important, how it should look. Um, as you can see here, you can see that I'm protecting some of my resources. Not really enough of my resources, I don't think. We should probably be switching that around. Uh, the primary pur purpose of your main base is one to protect the town center or city center uh, and two to protect your resources and or trade goods. The purpose of your war base is only to cover your and protect your town center. Now this is my war base that has already been designed. Um, and is active in war and holds up not bad. You can tell that I've got a couple of wonders. I'm using the Forbidden City, which acts as a second town center, so people do have to take both of these out. Uh, let's go to a blank one, because I do want to walk through some of the primary buildings with you folks. So we're going to go to Pick Up All. Uh, the first thing that you're going to need to know, obviously, like I said, I've got the Forbidden City. If you don't have the Forbidden City, let's pretend you don't. You're going to have your town center. That's going to be the center of your base. That's the heart of your base. You want to prevent people from getting to that and killing that within the first minute of battle, depending on what their library research is. Um, so now that you know that, you can hopefully build around that using walls and towers and such in order to appropriately defend your town center, and your base overall. Um, a few of the primary things that you're going to want to note. Mortars or catapults. If you're pre-gunpowder or new to the gunpowder, you're going to have catapults. They look like... C. Find C, Chris. There's a catapult. So that's the difference between a catapult and a mortar. Your catapult is going to be up to a level 2 and then it changes into a mortar. Is that right? No, that's not right. Catapults go up to three, and then they go to four, which is a mortar. Level four is when they turn into mortars. I really need to fix that, don't I? Um, you only have three. You're going to want to space them out. Don't stick them in a row like this. That's uh, a surefire way to get yourself starred quite quickly. Uh, one of the things that I like to do is ensure that these actually have provide sufficient coverage in and around your town center. I personally have a difficult time uh, building my war bases. I'm not too fond of this and I've got really big fat fingers so as a result it doesn't work so well. Uh, you're going to want to protect your mortars by utilizing things that shoot. One of the more popular things to do is to actually use a cannon. So you stick a cannon right beside your mortars because the heavies uh, are going to be going after your cannons and your mortars and you want your cannons firing upon people that come close enough or in range. Um, walls. I cannot stress uh, the importance of your walls. Your walls focus not only on your walls but get them up to a reasonable level. They will actually slow the attack down. Um, trap placement. One of the biggest keys to success in this game is understanding what range things are. So understanding that this is, and you can even count it out. Let's see here. So if you count that out, that's approximately what? We know that this is three. We know that we can fit two of those side by side, right? So that must be six, your town center, right? So from there, 
the circle, this outermost circle, is how far it will shoot. So we know that it goes six, seven, eight, approximately eight and one half is how far away a catapult will fire. So that is the range on that. You need to also understand that ballistas, cannons, artillery, all have a range of five. We know that this is three. We know that this is two. So if you have a wall, if you have a wall that is sitting there, you know that that is far enough away that an artillery, even there, even if you were to move this one in, right? Because we've got one, one, two, three, four, five. So they've got a range of five, meaning they have to sit on that fifth block, not the fourth block, in order to actually hit your town center. So you know that that's the distance, minimum distance around your town center that your walls have to be in order to actually prevent somebody from just simply dropping their troops and killing your town center. Um, high hit point buildings, that's the last thing. I realize this one's going to be a little bit longer and it is a lot to cover. I would strongly suggest that you check out some of the speed builds that are available on YouTube. Uh, ask your alliance uh, mates if they have decent recommendations as far as utilizing the wonders. Uh, they will all have wonderful things to say, I am sure. Check the forums. The forums have excellent resources as far as those things go. But this is one of the, uh, I guess, there's two more things that we need to cover. So the first, your town center is the most important thing, not your loot. Your town center. Your catapults are going to be your primary defense as far as killing troops. Protect your cannons. Mind the distance from your town center to your walls to force people to have to go through walls without getting that quick victory. Um, your road network. Your road network will help to increase the number of hit points on your town center. Thus to mean the more things that you have touching this road and that road has to be touching the town center, the higher the hit points will be on said town center. The best thing to say in regard to that, the best thing to do in regard to that, as far as increasing the number of things that are touching your roads and connected back to your town center, is to keep your road network away from your walls. What do I mean by that? I mean, if you were going to run a road like this, keep it away from the wall so that you can place a building immediately by the wall. So it goes wall, building, road. This will allow you to actually stick buildings on either side, thus increasing the hit points of your town center. Now, the last thing to take into account, high hit point buildings. Um, it's a minute change, uh, but it is something that you should pay attention to. For instance, having this building out here is much more beneficial to slowing those troops up and allowing them to take a little bit more fire versus, say, having, oh, I don't know, a cute little level 1 farm or a level 4 farm. That level 4 farm isn't going to do you much good. That mill, however, has a ton more hit points. What are your strongest hit point buildings? Uh, if you've built it, which I have not, your vault is a good thing to start with. If you are higher in dealing with oil, your oil well, oil well? Is it called an oil well or is it called the... Yeah, it's a well. It's a well. Your oil well is the highest hit point building that you have. They're equivalent of... I think one and a half tanks. Uh, and the same with the vault. Utilize those by sticking them in front of buildings you do not want destroyed. Those are the basics. Um, I'll let you take it away from there. Oh, sorry, I lied. There is one more thing that you should quite likely pay attention to. 
and that's your wonder. You need to utilize the, the wonder appropriately. If you're using the Colosseum, if you're using the Terracotta Army, if you're using Notre Dame, uh, they all have advantages and disadvantages. You're going to want to use those appropriately. And the same with Angkor Wat, which is your other wonder for the gunpowder. This is the new one you get. Uh, the Temple of Tikal, Versailles, or the Taj Mahal are the other three. Read up on those. There's excellent YouTube videos covering the advantages, disadvantages, and which ones people favor. Um, but utilize them appropriately within your war base. So again, cover your town center. Mind the space between the outside of the wall and your town center in order to prevent people from sniping it without going through a wall. Protect your mortars. Increase your road network by keeping it away from walls. Research your Forbidden City. I'm going to cut this one off here. Uh, stay tuned. Eventually we will actually get to attacking, I promise. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, click like and subscribe down below. Keep your sticks on the ice. Have a good time.